All right, here's a game that I love doing K to, uh, not so much K to five, but three, fourth, and fifth grade called Mission Impossible. That's a game I got from a former PE teacher in the district I teach in. Um, the goal of this entire game is for one team to make it across the gym floor to the other team side without touching the gym, fo gym floor at all. So for instance, <clears throat> This team right here, their job is to make it all the way, all the way to this side of the gym without touching any part of the gym floor, the gym floor at all. Whereas this team over here, blue team, marked by the blue stars, okay, they're trying to do the same thing. Their job is to try and make it all the way over to this side, okay, and. I have the Mission Impossible music playing in the background. Now, each one of these boxes here, each one of these boxes right here, marked by this X, are, we'll get that figured out here. Let me go back and erase that a little bit. Okay. Each one of these boxes right here, this box and this white box are fold of any type of trinket or anything that you would want to put in there for instance i give i put scooters in there tied with ropes um things that the kids can get their bodies on on the scooter and then they try to make it to <clears throat> each one of these types of equipment laid on the gym floor now for instance this guy For instance, this this right here, this is a mat that I have, and this is a mat that the kids can use to try and get across to the gym floor. Um, this right here, these are tires. I usually have some sort of tire uh, that the kids can use to stand on when they're not on the gym floor. Um, you guys can kind of use whatever you want. This would be a bench that I have, just old step-up benches. Um, over here, I usually have a uh, balance beam and then another balance beam where the kids can stand on. And instead of using tires, you can obviously use some kind of balance um, piece of equipment where the kids have to balance one foot on, things like that. Um, these two these two blue uh, rectangles here, these two rectangles here, these guys are all, these are mats stacked up on end so the kids can use to try and climb on. So that's uh, those types of equipment that I use. We'll get those circles out of here, just to kind of show you what they were, okay? So anyway, clearing this all up, the student's entire job, as I said, is to try to get across the entire gym floor without touching it at all. Now, some rules. If they do touch the gym floor, that student has to run all the way back to the starting line and try again. And the game keeps going until the entire team has made it to the other side. And again, that's why I determined to uh, call it Mission Impossible. Um, I've found that this game is really enjoyable and I actually maybe do it um, for an entire week. Works on teamwork skills and things like that and that, that the team members cannot accomplish their task without the other team members. Um, so if there's days in the week where I think we need to kind of review teamwork skills and go back to that kind of stuff, um, this is a great game that I use uh, for that. Uh, so again, it's called Mission Impossible. You can call it whatever you want. And uh, again, for uh, types of equipment in their bucket, you can use whatever you would deem prefer, any type of scooter. Um, sometimes I use Frisbees or anything that they can step on where they're not actually uh, touching the gym floor and uh, more information and ideas on this game will be on my blog. Thanks.